If you've ever played a game that largely felt like it was made to advertise one specific concept or explore one creative idea, then you've pretty much played the snowboarding. The idea behind the snowboarding is, near as I can tell, just to show off the snow physics they made. Now, I wouldn't call the physics accurate by any means, but they're pretty crazy, and yeah, watching your snowboarder fly around all over the place when he hits the slightest bump or hill is pretty entertaining. The idea that they could make these physics is probably what prompted them to make the game, because the physics are so outlandish. And don't get me wrong, the physics are extremely entertaining, but there just isn't a lot here to do outside of the physics. There are two modes, there's a race mode and there's a trick mode. In the race mode, you simply have to reach the bottom of the mountain before time runs out. And each course takes place on the same mountain, you just tackle the mountain from a slightly different angle each time. So there's not a whole lot of content there. Actually reaching the bottom of the mountain in the allotted amount of time isn't too difficult either. I had a few close shaves in the later courses, but as long as you keep mashing the speed up button, which has virtually no downsides in play as the character that has adequate turning, then you should always reach the bottom as long as you're pointed in generally the right direction. The trick mode is basically just the racing mode again, but better because there's still a time limit that's counting down, but you add to the timer by doing tricks. The more impressive the trick is, the more time gets added to the timer, so that way you have more time to reach the bottom. The tricks are incredibly, incredibly simple, and the game even has giant golden arrows pointing you to the best places to trick if you want maximum air. So it's not like it's a mystery how to get enough points to reach the bottom. I could see the trick mode being fun in two-player or if you wanted to go for a high score, but at the at the end of it all, you could really just mash the controller buttons and still make it to the bottom just fine. I would know because I tried that and it worked. All in all, the snowboarding is certainly not more than the sum of its parts, but it's also not really trying to be. If you want to play around with really wacky, unrealistic snowboard physics and do wild tricks that require almost no effort, then, you know, you can play the snowboarding for 10 minutes or so.